Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually doing a quick first impressions video on a V8S electric unicycle that was sent to me by Inmotion. A couple quick things. One, thank you Inmotion. I'm excited to make this. Two, if you're interested in getting any of the Inmotion devices, whether it's a unicycle or some of their scooters, you can use the code SERIALSNOB on their website to save 50 bucks off any order. Use that, save some money. I did want to preface this by saying that this is first impressions of an electric unicycle from someone who's never really owned or ridden one. I've like got on one before, but after totally failing, I was like, yeah, not for me. <laughs> but getting this one, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it some extra time. So I put in the time, I've ridden about 50 miles so far. I just want to give you some of my first impressions. Check it out. This is the V8S. This thing looks pretty slick. There's not a lot of bells and whistles to it, so it's like mostly just black on black and a couple logos here and there. But one thing I appreciate are the built-in pads right here for your calves. Uh, you're gonna lean on those a lot, so the pads come in handy. The handle right here to carry this thing as you're walking up and down makes a big difference for transporting it. And I gotta say that the pedals here are big enough for my size 13 shoe. My feet still hang off kind of a little bit, or my toes hang off on the front, or my heels a little bit on the back, but overall I find it to be pretty comfortable. One thing I did want to say is if you're struggling like I was to get this thing to auto balance when you turn it on, you have to connect it to the app. If you don't do that, uh, the auto balancing won't actually start. It's just in transportation mode. So connect it to the Emotion app, go to your settings, scroll down and turn off transportation mode. That'll save you a lot of headaches. I'm not how sure, sure how you can tell from this angle here, but in order to really successfully turn on this thing, I've learned I have to have like my chest kind of bent over. I have to lean in front of the wheel in order for like my center of gravity to be, I think, where it needs to be. Um, to, when you turn right, your weight actually goes to your left foot. If you turn left, your weight actually goes to your right foot. Something like not intuitive about that, but it's something you get used to really easily. I want to talk quick stats about this unicycle. It goes up to 22 miles an hour. It says a 46 mile range, which I find to be super impressive, but I found it to be around 30 for someone at 205 pounds like me. Um, the charge time is six and a half hours, which is a long time to be honest, or, uh, quite a long time. But it does handle hills pretty well. It can climb hills up to 30 degrees. I took it up one intense hill and it went up there so easily without any issue. I was like, okay, then all my concerns are done. It's pretty decent on asphalt and rocks and stuff. I haven't spent too much time going off trail because honestly, the torque on this thing is kind of low. It takes a little while to accelerate from zero to 22. And uh, I, I've still found myself not being really stable on this electric unicycle because I don't know, I just, I'm not sure if I'm just, I'm just a newbie. That's just how it goes. But it handles what I needed to handle pretty well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Except now I'm riding on like dirt and sand. And I do not feel stable right now, but Hey, like I said, I'm new. One thing I really hated when I started riding this electric unicycle was getting on and getting off. It's just tough. And I think you just have to remind yourself that everything is tough in the beginning. Just get off and get off. Just get off and get back on one more time and then do it again and then again and then again and suddenly it won't be so awkward. Um, one thing I have not got comfortable with at all is like this thing is able to just go backward and forward. And I told myself that um, that's a goal one of these days, but if I don't ever, if I don't ever hit that to where I'm going backwards on this thing, no big deal. I've done very little unicycle riding in my life, but enough to know that it's an awkward, weird thing. And it's not really my preferred option of choice. And most, of course it's not because it's not most people's, but this thing is still a unicycle. Even though it self balances for you, the way you move your body around it is very very unicycle, so don't expect it to be anything else. One last thing I have to mention is, once this is powered off and I let go of it, that's really the only option. I mean, I, obviously you don't have to let it drop, but it does drop. There's no way for this to stand up or balance. There's no kickstand, and I know other electric unicycles have kickstands. I wish this one did, but what I have found is that you can rest it right here on this side, just pretty comfortably. And it sits sideways, but upright so you're not scuffing the sides but you know in motion sent me that covers to not scuff up the sides but inevitably if you're going to ride this thing at all you will scuff up this device so if you want yours to be pretty get a case that's my tip now overall i have to say that i think this electric unicycle is decent right actually i i love the top speed of 22 miles an hour it's fast enough without being too fast and like i said i kind of find myself riding a lot slower than that anyway the range on this being about it says 46 miles, but around my weight at 205 pounds, it seems like somewhere closer to 30. That's still 
also really impressive. I like the front facing headlight. It provided a lot of light at the nighttime when I was riding this so far. Um, overall, I have to say that this thing is kind of heavy at 35 pounds. It feels like a big weighty thing between my legs. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm getting used to it. I just think that if you're trying to actually have to, if you have to pick this thing up, it is not a fun experience. I don't like that. Um, I don't like how it doesn't have a kickstand. You have to lean it up against a wall. You know, I found a way around that, but overall, really not my favorite thing. And I think that in general, it's getting more and more fun as I ride it. So it's like each time I get off, each time I get back on, I feel a little bit more comfortable. I trust the thing a little bit more. And I'm making sure that when I'm riding, for the most part, I'm using my helmet because that definitely makes me feel safe. And I think everyone should ride with a helmet. It just protect your brains, people. You need these things to think. Um, and with that being said, I'm excited, I guess, to get a little bit more in depth in my full review, but these are my first impressions. I'm trying not to get too heavy weighted onto this because I've never done an electric unicycle full review before, but uh, I do know I like it. I recommend it. And I think if you're a person who's just interested in getting something that gets you that last couple of miles or just be a fun way to leave your home and experience your city, your town in a whole new way, dude, there's nothing better than uh, an electric personal vehicle, right? They are quiet, they are zippy, they typically have really great range, and I find in general I just get to cruise out and have the most fun. So remember, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by subscribing, liking, and commenting. That helps out a ton. But if you want to support me monetarily, you can do that by going to pokeybraces.com and buying literally anything there. That's my other business where I make gemstone bracelets inspired by your favorite Pokemon. They're all gorgeous. They come with a card that I create custom for the designs. And um, well, it's very Pokemon without being too obviously Pokemon. I love wearing them with like everything I wear. So I think you might too. Anyways, that's it for now. Talk to you soon.